Okay, I'm going to try to give you a quick review of this camping lantern that I've built. Um, designed this in Tinkercad and printed it to my 3D printer. And the whole intent here, I mean, you can buy lanterns for sure, but the thing I wanted is a lantern that would be very bright and that could run off of my um, RC battery that I've already got. This is a 5600 milliamp hour battery and it's got a lot of power in it and I wanted a light that could run off of it. So what I built here is basically a light that's six sided but is only two and a quarter inches thick in this direction. And that was a key measurement because the storage area I've got in my camping box has a tray. The storage area in that tray is a maximum of two and a quarter inches tall. So this will actually rest in my camping box when we're traveling in that direction. So this is built using what's called a cob chip on board LED strips. These are actually daytime running light strips that I ordered off of uh, Amazon.com. I think these strips were about $9 for a set of six of these. You can see these down through here. So, according to the manufacturer, these strips are 500 lumens each. So, with six strips, this is about a 3,000 lumen light. And so it should light up the campground very well. Now, I've put a very strong latch on the bottom, created this totally from scratch. Get it popped out of here. I made that good and strong so you would have to have it, a knife to open it. And as you can see right here, this is actually a low battery sensor. because I don't want to drain my LiPo down too far when I'm using this light. So that's the sensor and here's the plug-in for the battery power. So when I hook up this sensor, you're going to hear it chime to let you know that it's working. Here we go. And that's what it sounds like if that battery gets too low. So that's a test alarm there. So I'm gonna hook up the power to it. So I now have the power connected to the light. And I'll just shove these wires back up in there and put the lid back on it. There we go. Now what I've done also is I've created a lid up here to protect the four switches that are in here. And why I've created four switches is so I can turn on lights pretty much as I see them being used when we're camping. So for example, if I want to turn on just the front strip, which in most instances, um, one single strip is going to be bright enough because again, this is about 500 lumens worth of light and that is pretty bright in the campground. But if I just want to turn on this front one, I can simply hit the switch here and it'll come on. Now if I want to have the two side lights come on instead I can hit this other switch and then the two side lights come on. And if I want all the lights to come on I can hit all switches which would be four because I've basically got it set up so that one switch can control the center light on each side and then a different switch controls the side lights on each side. So if I want to light all of it up, I can do that. And that's about 3,000 lumens worth of light. So I'll turn those off. And right here is where that uh, sensor that you heard a while ago comes from. That's located right there. I've also made this area recessed here so that once the lid is down, if it does rain on it, it, it can't work its way into the switches in there. Everything was epoxied and sealed together and I've coated this in uh, clear coat enamel. I also went in and used 
a trick I saw from a preview printing professor to make these names show up better on here. So I've basically got my little logo up here, my name, but then this is the name of my grandkids here on the lot because I usually take them camping with me. So I've got all their names on here and old Papa's name is on there, that's me. But anyway, this thing I think is going to work very well. Another advantage I found to making this in a triangular shape is that if you want to not have a light glaring at you, you can actually take, turn on a strip, and then you can turn this down in that direction. And when you turn it down in that, that kind of gives you light out towards you without it being straight towards you. But anyway, this came out really well, and I've actually tested that battery with all six of these strips running at the same time. And with all six of the strips running, that battery will last over eight and a half hours. So you can only imagine how long it's going to last if you're only running with one of those strips going, which will be the case uh, a lot of the time. But this is one of the most extensive 3D projects that I've created. And uh, it came out really good. We'll, we'll be excited to see how it works when we actually go camping this spring.